As tropical storms move through the Pacific this time of year, the threat of flooding rain is very real, especially over the next three months. But officials say Oahu's most populated and used area is least prepared. KGMB 9's Angela Keene has that exclusive story and joins us now from the Alawai. Kim, on one side of us, uh, people are golfing. On the other side, paddlers in the water, people exercising. It's very calm here now, but when the big rain hits, this area around the Alawai, from Mo'ili'ili all the way to the shores of Waikiki, could be underwater. Now, a local company is lending ideas to help save Waikiki from the 100 year flood. This flooding along the Alawai Canal is nothing compared to what experts say could happen. It's just a matter of time before. This area experiences a flood of the magnitudes that you're seeing in the news. Derek Chow from the Army Corps of Engineers is getting some expert collaboration from a new source. Environmental scientist Robert Burke from Oceanit. Yeah, so what can we do about them in here? Without flood prevention, this area in blue from Makoli Mo'ili'ili to Kapahulu all the way to Waikiki would be flooded in a hundred year rain. So you can imagine this entire area would, would be filled with water, rushing water, and it inundate the first floors of a, of a lot of these complexes. Imagine that rushing water coming from the Alawai into the heart of Waikiki. Sure. The ideas also include getting the Alawai back in better environmental shape. One of our, our stated goals of this project is to figure out how to improve that pathway to get the native invertebrates, the fish, oopu, from the ocean up to the mountains through this channel. And to prevent this trashy problem. The other thing we want to do in this area is make a catchment basin to catch all the trash that comes down from our watershed so it doesn't go into the Alawai Canal. Burke's idea to transform the upper streams from this to a watershed more environmentally friendly and flood ready. But before any of this can happen, the Army Corps of Engineers and Oceanit say the most important part of the solution is public input to help them find the best plan for the Alawai and the community. Now, the Alawai Canal project is a state and federal project, and that's good news because that means when it happens, the federal government will chip in 65% of the cost. Now, if you'd like to know more about the project and upcoming meetings in the community, you can log on to our website later tonight at KGMB9.com. Reporting live from the Alawai, Angela Keene, KGMB9 News.